Hello, hello, welcome to another video. This is part 3 of the Brussels uh, ride, PEV ride. Uh, on this day it is a car free day. And here we are uh, uh, riding through Brussels with a, a pretty large group, I don't know, 30 maybe 40 people, I don't know. Very few uh, Dutch people, also uh, lots of French uh, speaking uh, Belgian people. As uh, the year is closing, I, really, I already said uh, two wheels, uh, at least two wheels, uh, new wheels will be announced this year. And of course, uh, <laughs> uh, everybody was right, <laughs> but. Uh, uh, not only Bigot has uh, announced new wheels, uh, Emotion also announced a new wheel. I finally got uh, the Bigot Falcon. I'm very happy with it. But Emotion uh, announced, uh, I think it's still not officially yet, it's, it leaked. Uh, Emotion uh, announced uh, a small uh, suspension wheel. I don't know the model number, the mo model name. But it looks to be a competitor uh, to the Bigot Falcon. Not as powerful or as fast, but a little bit lighter. I think, I think only two kilograms. Not, but uh, it it will be the the smallest wheel with suspension, the smallest uh, production wheel. But it also won't be that powerful. Uh, the the Bigot Falcon is very powerful, very turkey wheel. I still have to uh, change out the suspension, put on the, the bigger springs. But uh, I will wait uh, for the top cover first. It will be it's, it's uh, the cover, the plastic cover on the Falcon already cracked at the screw holes. So uh, I, I am I'm getting a new one. But uh, for now I'm running it stock, changing n nothing. Uh, except for the pedals, the pedals, uh, to get that angle, the plate, I uh, removed it for uh, flatter pedals. That's uh, the only thing I've changed. There are some really nice views here in Brussels, as you can see. A nice cathedral at the end of a long road. I tried to catch her here with the 360 camera as big as uh, possible, front and back. Very nice cathedral. But uh, yes, uh, a lot of wheels have announced. Uh, Bigot also announced uh, the Bigot Panther, 22-inch wheel with uh, 4,000 watt-hour of batteries, with the C40 motor, I think, hopefully. So for a uh, 22-range wheel, uh, I think. Uh, it will be an expensive wheel, but it will be a wheel for me for cruising. I think it's a real, because of the height, it's really fun for seated riding. But I'm also still looking at the v, uh, Inmotion V13 Pro. A friend already has it, but he only rides it for uh, off-road. But the V13 Pro is not an off-road wheel, it's, it's a road wheel. So if I'm going to buy the V13 Pro, I will ride it at its at its top speed, which is I think uh, 90, 90 kilometers an hour, and I think GPS. But uh, emotion batteries or emotion wheels eat eat a lot faster through the batteries, 
so uh, with the V30 Pro I don't think I will have any range at that, those kinds of speeds 45 50 miles an hour Um, I'm always excited with these group rides on uh, new locations. Brussels uh, is uh, new for me. It's only the second time I've been uh, to Brussels. Meeting new people. And with the 360 camera I uh, even I catch everything, so even if I missed it the first time, with the rewatch of the videos and with the the shots uh, to to the rear, I uh, I can relive it and uh, experience it uh, uh, new. <laughs> Brussels has lots of uh, big parks. Which is uh, fantastic. Robin speeding along. And these kinds of group rides I don't ride at my at the top speed. Maybe tapping the sixty. But never going uh, past it. It's not needed. Uh, most riders only ride uh, around 40. A lot more new uh, videos uh, of the, the, the Apex from the new uh, company Nosfet has been released. A lot of people are very critical. Uh, so, uh, on social media there's perhaps also so a lot of hate I don't know why you can be critical but w why hate uh, so far uh, the apex looks promising but uh, some something in me it tells me about why why don't put the Lynx motor in the S22 because that's basically what the Apex is. Uh, the, the S22 uh, has a trolley, has a seat. It just has does not have the power and the, tor the torque acceleration. So uh, I like the design, but it's very limited. Uh, no seat, no trolley, uh, and uh, the software still needs a lot of fix. Seems uh, with uh, with the new uh, Bigo firmware, the uh, Leapkin firmware looks like it's it, it, it's it's a little bit behind. They added new features, but there's still lots of uh, dipping. Yeah, when cornering very tight, that's still. I think the the pattern has the, uh, doesn't have that much of a problem because it has the most torque. But the links, the first I tried, it definitely dips very hard when I'm uh, accelerating or uh, or braking. It, it it dips very hard, so I didn't like the links. Uh, friends of mine ha now have uh, the Sherman L. I don't know if it dips also. I don't think it uh, has the same torque as the pattern or the links. It's also a very uh, heavier wheel, but it will pick speed up a lot faster than the Sherman S. Apparently the V13 Pro picks up speed uh, a lot faster than the Sherman S. And uh, I think the V13 Pro is a lot heavier. But 
But right now I'm not uh, going to buy any wheel. I still have the S22, I put it on the second hand market but not a lot of people were interested. I will put it up again. And uh, with uh, some new photos. Maybe the time wasn't just right, maybe a little bit later. Uh, more people uh, are willing to, uh, to go for the S22. Because right now I have se uh, seven wheels, it, it just, that, that's just too much, too many. I need to sell uh, two, maybe even three. I still need a wheel for the, the ride to Portugal. But maybe I will uh, use my EX30, but the terrain is very rough and uh, as, uh, the EX30. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very low. Uh, for the rough terrain, I really wanted uh, a range, enough range. And uh, maybe uh, the pat pattern is too small, the batteries. So maybe the Apex, I think it has 2700 watt hours. Will, uh, will be enough, but. Uh, so far it hasn't been tested uh, enough yet. But uh, the, the ride to Portugal uh, with friends, it's still uh, it's September next year, so yeah, I have uh, enough time to think about uh, a wheel for that. I think uh, I'm not going for the Lynx, maybe the Apex. Or the X-Way could also be interesting. But I like uh, how how Lipo Kim uh, tuned their wheels with lots of lots of acceleration power and uh, also uh, with a lot a lot of range. After I got uh, the Kingsong S22, I bought uh, I wanted a bigger wheel. And I bought uh, the Velvet Abrams. The first one was a used one. It was the very old model. Uh, the ki uh, the cut off uh, cut out wheel. And my Abrams would cut out. It was uh, totally demolished. But I still wanted an Abrams. I, s I, s I really liked the, the acceleration, the sound. A very complete wheel. But it had uh, cut out problems. So I bought uh, the veteran Abrams from E-Rides with all the updates, no problem, and I, really li I still really like it. it is, it's very unique, like uh, the 9 bot C10 is a very unique wheel, uh, also uh, the veteran Abrams that is. There's the sound it makes, the whistle, the, the whining noise, uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's very beautiful, it could be used in any uh, science fiction movie. So and after that I wanted a smaller torqueier wheel. I want a, a wheel as, as compact as the Sherman with suspension with lots of torque. And I tried the pattern and I could immediately feel it, it has a very strong motor. Friend showed me climbing a, a hill. It could it could go uh, yeah go very high to the top even on the heavier guys so so the pattern was uh, my next wheel and still till the till this day is, is the benchmark for 16 inch uh, wheels with uh, suspension but after the pattern I wanted uh, a range wheel with suspension the Abrams has more range than the Sherman but it didn't have suspension. It had torque, but still, it, it's for me. I cannot st uh, ride uh, standing on on the Abram. So I wanted a more all-round wheel, similar to my uh, Valerie German, but with lots of torque. And I was already a fan of the Bigot EX30, and then my eye dropped on a second-hand one. Only had 600 miles on it. 
of uh, no 600 uh, kilometers and uh, it was a good price uh, that uh, gr uh, gr gristle fa uh, fairing protection not the whole setup not the, the front uh, cover for the, the the front light and it had uh, I think the kinetic uh, pads still a great wheel love the suspension the suspension is enough for the road and as you can see in this video it's 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 very fun uh, for seated for uh, for standing it accelerates very fast it's a torque wheel so I'm not uh, pushing it uh, to a uh, to very high speed I think uh, the same speed as the Sherman but the Sherman will beep at between 60 and 70 km an hour GPS the Sherman will beep uh, the X30 will not and it feels very effortless to accelerate the EX30 uh, yeah there was almost a crash with the mountain board uh, very small wheels of course and it's not very flat yeah. it is on asphalt but if you go into the curb uh, you better slow down a lot Yeah, I'm, very, I'm looking uh, very forward to uh, to the trip uh, to, uh, to Portugal. Don't know uh, how big the group will be. For now, uh, Nelson, Yuri, and I will uh, go with one car. I think this year it was uh, Ralph, but uh, next year Ralph couldn't go because of his uh, work uh, schedule. But uh, I, I still need a proper wheel uh, for the for the ride because the terrain is, is very rough with very big ro rocks at uh, climbing mountains. So it will need torque, higher pedals. Now Emotion released uh, the E20 with uh, two two wheels or two tires and. Uh, <laughs> As a reaction, uh, Bigot uh, released a new M105, also with two wheels or two tires. So, but they don't think the, this version of the M105 is a proper uh, wheel for for learning. It doesn't seem like that. It's just uh, the M105 with two wheels, smaller wheels or smaller tires. So for uh, for the next uh, for my next wheel, yeah, I need uh, first I need to sell uh, more wheels. I also need a new car. I think that's more important. Overall, I will uh, can uh, sell the S22 at the right price, but. Uh, uh, lots of people want uh, wheel for next to nothing, but that some of those people are o also reselling, so I don't want to sell it for nothing. I, I, I want to sell the, uh, the wheel uh, to people who actually want to learn to ride, you see. Not uh, just giving wheels away. And uh, I mean, so six months from now, I, I must see uh, when I've uh, sold uh, two wheels and I've bought my car. If there's still money left, I will buy a wheel for Portugal. I don't know yet what wheel it is, it will be, but it needs to have a range for my weight. Or well, for climbing much, it just needs to have uh, batteries. It's not like uh, we are going to the top with a car and then uh, riding down and then up again. Now we're going from 
down to up and then back again so I, I really need the range Sherman S uh, 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 Nelson is, uh, is heavier than I am and uh, the Sherman S has more range but it doesn't have the low torque the really low torque almost standstill because it picks up uh, over three or five kilometers an hour it will get to uh, get the torque but that's just you cannot go that uh, fast on rough terrain you need the torque immediately like the pattern but the pattern has a very small tire and riding over big rocks you can feel everything with the pattern it's it's it we will get pushed to the side uh, the, the wheel gets gets the oriented a, a certain way because of the shape of the rocks with 20 inch it with the 20 inch it's uh, it's uh, yeah, it's not the problem because you can bulldozer over the the rocks of course uh, tire pressure must must be too high This is almost the end of the video. This was a short one. The the batteries, the battery of my uh, the Insta 360 X4 was, was almost empty. You could see uh, the USB cable hanging to uh, to keep it uh, charged. But uh, if I'm uh, going for these long rides and I'm using the uh, the X4, the Insta360 X4, I will buy another battery because two is better than one and one battery is sometimes none I'm very happy with the footage, that was the first uh, video I, sh uh, right I shot with X4 I didn't do any recording uh, before this I won't use the, the X4 that much, but for these kinds of rides in a new environment, I want to catch them as, as much as possible. With uh, action off-road riding, I will use, still use my DJI Action 3. The camera is more robust, wide angle. Although, in the rear, I, yeah, it's, it's very, of course, directional. If I want to shoot something behind me, I will have to handhold the camera, which I don't always like uh, doing while riding. I think hands-free is the hands-free riding is the best. But this was a, this was a more sh more casual ride. Sometimes I was speeding a little bit, but uh, mostly this was a very chill ride. Hopefully uh, you like this uh, video. Uh, it's December, so I won't be. Uh, it's almost December, still November. I won't be riding that much. Maybe on a very uh, dr dry day, I will ride the Falcon. I will post some videos of that and some impressions. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.